Greetings people, it's Jared here, Wolfgang One, back to do another Transformers review. So we're going back to G1 this week, and this is going to be the first of the six-parter um, requested by Marcus Prime, because as we all know, he loves his shit, but this boy has got a lot to answer for in terms of the reviews that I've um, I've done, with the exception of Ultramagnus, that one was kind of cool. Um, so we're, we're looking at six weeks of shit bots, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we're going to be looking at the Sparker bots and the Firecons from G1. And this week we are going to kick things off with possibly the worst of the Autobot offerings. This is the review for Generation 1 Guzzle. Right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is Guzzle in his tank mode. Now, I'm starting off with Guzzle for this six week um, look at total pieces of shit. Um, because... Uh, I'm going to do Autobot, Decepticon, Autobot, Decepticon. And, and I thought I'd start off with the worst one for the Autobots. And it's clearly this guy. I mean, Mark will argue, Marcus Prime will argue that this guy is charming. Okay? In fact, they're all charming. There is no charm here. There is only varying degrees of absolute cack. Right? I, just, I have these in my collection simply because they bump out my collection and it's another G1 ticked off the list. They're, they're, I have no um, uh, particular love for the, for these at all. And in fact, um, I reviewed this, got to be close to about 10 years ago now, um, for uh, Ed, uh, Bumble Jumper. He, he wanted me, I think, to review this for him and his wife. So I did. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Ed, anyway. And um, my, my feelings on, on the figure from even back then have not changed whatsoever. This is shit. This is shit in every single way that you could possibly imagine. I mean, should we should we try and talk about points in its favour? Um, the, the sculpted detail on it is pretty cool. There's a lot of grills around the back. There's like sort of storage things or whatever. There's the little tank opening canopy sort of thing. The, the hatch and like various other hatches and do fucking god knows what. They don't, they don't do anything. They're just moulded in. Um, you've got the little turret that spins around uh not a full 360 well it can if you raise that and then it goes around a full 360 um the little barrel moves up and down that's that's it that's it for this mode i mean i've not touched this in years you can see that this has now gone quite yellow in places um especially around the tank treads um i mean i could just uh spoil this completely, ladies and gentlemen, by just standing up and saying, oh, look, there's quite a lot. You'd say, well, you think there's quite a lot of the robot underneath there. You have no idea how true that actually is, okay? Um, it would have been nice maybe just like a little panel, flip over the little panel to reveal the head or anything, but no, not not, not Hasbro, no. So this was the lower, point, uh, lower price point Transformers that would have replaced the mini bots and the throttle bots. And sort of shit like that. And it seems to me that as the years progressed, they got more and more shit. This is more shit than the, than the throttle bot. Okay. These, now, once upon a time, these would have sparked. So you run it along this little wheel here. And then sparks would have shot out of his ass there. This That mechanism has never worked for me all the time I've had this. In fact, it, it might have died as soon as some child took it out of the packaging. Because don't forget, right? I bought this as a second-hand collector. I don't know where I got this from. This might have been like the convention for like sort of ATP or might have been eBay or something like that but some kid's parent back in the day would have spent five ninety nine on this or something or whatever it was two ninety nine. They, they'd have spent money on this and it would have been in its packaging and they'd have taken it out of the packaging and they'd have put it on the thing and then they'd have gone yeah this is shit mum thanks thanks a bunch <laughs> that's, that's probably exactly what I would have done um there there is there I have no love for this I have no love for this at all I'm surprised that Mark I know Mark loves a shit bot I know Mark loves a shit bot but let's face it ladies and gentlemen there are fucking limits to that surely there must be limits to that and you would think this would be where the limit would be um this is wank <laughs> this is absolute fucking shit um, but Mark loves a shit bot, so we're doing six weeks of shit bots, right, just for him, and we're kicking it off with Guzzle here. Um, so I'm going to, um, th th that's about as much as I can say for the tank mode. There is, there is fuck all worth else exploring here at all, other than the fact it's got a lovely little bit of sculpted detail on it. That's about it. So we're going to take it to the transformation now. Um, I'll try and do my best with the transformation. Uh, but it is it sometimes does get a little bit involved um so just just bear with me while i remember how to do this 
Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. You pull out the back of the tank like that, and then you stand it up. There we are. Move his arms forward. That, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that was it. That was it. One step fucking changer. What an absolute... That that was the robot mode. So if, if I put it down like that, right? Put it down like that. That is the robot mode. Like with, with maybe a centimetre's extra height on it. I mean, so there we are. Move his little arms forward, just because that makes the world a fucking difference. And there we are. That is Guzzle in robot mode. This is... Shit. This is absolute shit. I don't... I don't understand. I don't understand how things started to go so wrong so very quickly in the G1 line. It's sort of like, oh, the G1s were excellent, blah, blah, blah. Actually, if you look at it objectively, and I love G1, right, but the majority of the G1 toy line was fucking cack, right? And I'm, I'm appreciating that a lot of them are 40 years old. Now, that's not the point. A, a lot of the toys that they produced were second-rate pieces of shit, and this goes one or two thousand steps below second-rate, okay? This is fucking abhorrent. Absolute shit. Absolute shit. So, <laughs> there it is. That's the robot mode. There's nothing else to say. Uh, the, the face is all picked out in blue. Focus, you fucker. The camera doesn't even want to focus. The face is all picked out in blue. Like, sort of... No other discernible detail in there. Apart from the scolded... Um, sculpted things on the faceplate, but the eyes are picked out the same colour as the faceplate, so it's hard to see what's going on. Just, I'm sorry, that's just absolutely awful. That is no excuse for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is part one. That is part one of my six week um, pieces of shit uh, review. So, Mark, I do hope you enjoyed this. I will be back next week with a look at one of the Decepticon. Uh, fire cons. I'm not sure which one. You have to decide which one is the shittest of the three, and it's difficult, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's far more difficult to decide which one of those is a piece of shit as pairs to the Autobot ones. So that's Guzzle. Um, it wasn't worth tuning in for this, but thank you very much for doing so. Anyway, I'll be back next week. This is Gerald Gambay, also known as Wolf Kang One, saying go and watch the other content on my channel because no one bothers with that. Um, <laughs> um yeah. So. Do whatever you're gonna do or don't. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna just go now. This. This is. This is awful. This is absolutely awful. Until we see each other again. Thank you for watching and take care.